Friends, hello everyone. Reading the comments under various videos about water pressure reducers, I realized that there are disputes and misunderstandings as to why the water pressure reducer is installed. Some believe that the latter is not only a device whose main task is to reduce pressure, but also think that the reducer is reliable protection from hydraulic shocks. Someone, having installed a water pressure reducer, for example, in front of a water meter, does this precisely in order to protect the ladder, since many are worried about the very moment that by installing a reducer after the meter, the water meter remains, as it were, unprotected. To learn more about the operation of the water pressure reducer and the choice of a place for its installation, I told in my other video, the link to which you will find in the description or comments to this video. Regarding protection, the question immediately arises, from what do you want to protect the meter? High water pressure? Okay, everything is clear here, this is the work of the water pressure reducer. Water hammer protection? No, no and no, the water pressure reducer doesn't like them. Yes, there is talk on the network that the pressure reducer protects devices from water hammer in the water supply network, but this is not entirely true. By virtue of its design, the water pressure reducer, of course, reacts to the occurring water hammer, but in general, its task is nevertheless connected with the regulation of the water pressure, of course, in fact, it works with a sharp increase in pressure in the water supply network, reducing its throughput and thus most taking all the blow on himself. Why is the water pressure reducer not designed to protect against water hammer? With the same success, it is possible to consider a head covered with bare hands from a brick falling from the top as a reliable protection. After all, when a brick falls, the main blow will fall on your hands. But the head will still hurt. And it is not yet known how this will affect in the future. The mechanism of the water pressure reducer has a rather complex design, the essence of which is precisely in adjusting the water pressure, and during a water hammer, the valve, piston or membrane of the pressure reducer receives a powerful and sharp jolt, in fact, a shock of water, from which all parts of the reducer may suffer. After all, what is protection? This is when all the water supply units are protected, but here it turns out that the pressure reducer is a device that takes all the shocks on itself and is subjected to loads that can lead to its destruction. Indeed, in order to withstand a water hammer in a water supply system, a number of conditions must be created to extinguish this shock and a pressure reducer is not the best option for this. To protect against water hammer, there are special devices called compensators or, in other words, water hammer dampers. Such devices, due to the piston or membrane located inside them, are capable of painlessly for themselves, quickly triggering during sudden surges of water. In compensators, in fact, there is nothing to break, the whole principle of their operation is an increase in the volume of the inner chamber due to the compression of the piston or rubber membrane. By enlarging the inner chamber, the compensator nullifies a sharp shock of water and prevents the consequences of a negative impact on the water supply system and plumbing fixtures. Many will say that the water pressure reducer also has a chamber and a free stroke of the piston or membrane, due to which the water hammer is extinguished. Yes, but the point is that, compared to special expansion joints, the working chamber and the free stroke of the piston or diaphragm in the pressure reducer are very small and, in any case, are not suitable for this function. Also, for example, a piston reducer, having a high inertia, simply does not even have time to work during a water hammer, allowing a sharp jump in pressure further into the internal water supply system. And only a membrane reducer, having a higher reaction rate in a large working chamber, is to some extent able to take the brunt of it. But here the question naturally arises, why install a pressure reducer against water hammer, because it is quite expensive and not designed for this. Isn't it easier to install a compensator right at the inlet, which is designed specifically for this and is much cheaper than a reducer. On this let me finish, subscribe, to whom this video turned out to be useful, do not forget to like it. Good luck and see you soon.